everyone so we are continuing to solve our cbsc math 10th grade board papers and in continuation today we are going to start solving 2016 set 3 paper so now section a has four questions of one mark each so question number 1 Question says a card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards. Find the probability of getting neither a red card nor a queen. Total number of cards is 52. How many red cards are there? 26 and queens. other than red queens we have two more queens black queens right so total number of favorable outcomes so we don't want red cards and we don't want queen so we have 52 minus 28 so we have 24 so probability of an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes so we have probability of this event is equal to 24 by 52 so 46 24 and 430 and so question number 2 this question we are given a ladder which is leaning against the wall so this is wall and this is the ladder this is making an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal this is 2.5 meter away from the wall you have to find the length of the ladder let's give the name to these vertices abc so we have to find the length of the ladder means we have to find ac and we are given bc so we can find out cos 60 degree is equal to bc by ac cos 60 degree is equal to half and bc is 2.5 by ac ac is equal to 2.5 into 2 AC is equal to five meter. So answer I can write down. The length of the ladder is five meter. Question number three. In this question, we are given a circle with center O. This is the diameter AB. PQ is a tangent at point C. Angle CAB is given as thirty degree, and we have to find angle PCA. We can say join OC. Join. OC OA is equal to OC because radii of the same circle angle OAC is equal to angle OCA is equal to 30 degree angle OCP is equal to 90 degree line joining the center and tangent is perpendicular to the tangent or angle pca is equal to angle ocp minus angle oce is equal to 90 degree minus 30 degree equal to 60 degree 
therefore angle PCA is equal to 60 degree answer question number 4 in this question we have to find the value of K and we are given the three terms of an EP terms of EP are K plus 9, 2K minus 1 and 2K plus 7. They are in EP so we have second term minus first term should be equal to third term minus the second term as this is equal to D the common difference. So we have 2K minus 1 minus k plus 9 is equal to 2k plus 7 minus 2k minus 1 so we have 2k minus 1 minus k minus 9 is equal to 2k plus 7 minus 2k plus 1 this 2k 2k gets cancelled so we have k minus 10 is equal to 8 so k is equal to 18 and so so we have finished section a and section b we are going to do in the next video so stay tuned and see you all